All right, uh, I was talking with somebody that has, uh, they've had problems all their life, and they said the solution uh, is uh, they just embrace it. And now I don't think I understand what they mean because uh, for as long as I've known them, they've been talking about their problem. Uh, it's almost like that by embracing it, it's really they've thrown their arm around it, bought it a nice outfit, and looked at it and said, I'm taking you everywhere, baby. You're coming with me. We're going out tonight. Um, but see, I've, I've met other people that I thought of as embracing their problems. I used to work uh, with a bike messenger that uh, uh, dived into a river and broke his back. And uh, he was pretty messed up at first. It was, his whole life has changed. He was a young guy, too. And uh, he didn't embrace his problem. He was kind of consumed by it at first. Uh, but then as like, as like the kind of the pain went away and being in a wheelchair became daily life, he thought, well, what is my life now? And he'd always, he's always been super physically active. And he, he loved that. And so he's like, how can I organize that same feeling that I had for others that might not have it? And so he started getting sponsorships and started having uh, events for low-income children, um, like sporting events, training events, uh, long-distance cycling and things like that. And uh, these kids, uh, um, the effect on the kids was amazing. Anyway, I didn't actually mean to get off on that, but um, I think he embraced what, was, what happened, what went wrong, and uh, more like it absorbed it. He's like, I'm not going to take my problem through, through my whole life, uh, my problem is going to create a whole new life, uh, a better life. Like, and you might say, like, oh, his life would have been better having not having his back broken. Um, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. I've had some things happen in my life that uh, were less than ideal, but the outcome of that, the strength that I had to, to dig down and find, um, I don't know if I would have found it if it hadn't been for the, some of the some of the tragedies. That I've experienced. I, you know, I wonder about my friend uh, that broke his back actually because uh, it struck me as he became more more of a man than anyone else I knew at that time in my life. Like his whole life was in his control. Like he lives off uh, I guess he, he lives off his dream. His dream pays all his bills and his dream improves the life of others. Yeah, I don't think that like your your whatever problem you have, um, and it might be a lifelong problem, or it might just be uh, one, like one of my friends is going through a divorce right now. Um, don't take your anger and your pain and or whatever your problem is. Don't throw your arm around it. So it's like, oh, it's gonna be me and you everywhere I go. Because so there's people like that. There's people that become best friends with their problem. It's their favorite thing to talk about, and uh, they'll they'll never be done suffering. They'll never make they'll never have that pain uh, be a springboard into a new life. Uh, that will be their life. So, yeah, you have it. You move on. Sometimes it catches up with you. You deal with it. You move on. Sometimes it catches up with you. But you're always moving on. And if you keep moving on, sometimes your problem's way back there and your problem doesn't have the energy to catch up because you're moving too fast because uh, your future is bright.